a lot of people do not realise just how great a sporting field they can have if they are built and maintained correctly. This video will examine some of the benefits to the community. The laser levelling and the, and the field location has meant that, that our pitch is very smooth and, and right across the oval. Um, the soil surfaces make the water drain away very quickly. Um, we've had probably one or two rained out weekends in three, and this is our third year now with the, with the, with the pitch. Uh, and the other things that we, we find is as we play away games in artificial turf is it's not as, um, there's still, still player challenges around, because our game is much around contested football around on the ground, um, many people often complain about artificial turf, whereas we have none of those complaints. Peak Water Consulting did a comparison of the life cycle costs of sporting fields constructed using different techniques. When compared with the traditional approach, which does not amend the soil, best practice sporting fields typically cost around 10% more and are cheaper to maintain. This is not surprising given the excellent grass cover that remains on these fields at the end of the winter sports season. However, well-built fields can also handle high levels of wear, so they provide the most cost-effective method for delivering a high-carrying capacity field. In 2012, I was contacted by a council that were using three hectares of turf for patching their fields each year. That's excluding the turf that they were using for the rebuilds. Now, by adopting some best practice principles over a five-year period, they were able to reduce their turf patching bill from $280,000 a year down to only $8,000 per year. Well-constructed sporting fields are considerably cooler and provide additional environmental benefits over poorly constructed fields or synthetic fields. During the last drought in 2019-20, we saw dramatic differences in how the sports field responded to reduced irrigation and water availability under restrictions. Fields that were constructed to best practice continued to perform well and thrive even though irrigation was cut back. By contrast, sports fields that were constructed using traditional techniques in the sports turf industry struggled badly. The differences caused by soil conditions were even more pronounced on those fields that did not have an automatic irrigation system. Natural turf also plays a vital role in community well-being, public health and social cohesion. While it's not uncommon to see sporting fields struggling like this one, those constructed and maintained according to best practice look great. So you can see here, this soil here, you see how many roots are in it, you see how open it is, it's not hard as a rock or anything, it's actually quite, quite fibrous, you can see the roots going through there, all the way through here. And so you end up with a well-structured, in this case a sandy loam soil, that used to set hard, but it doesn't anymore. And so you end up with this just superb playing surface here that's been maintained just using a local council's budget. So this is not, this is not getting massive attention or anything like that. It's just that it's been built correctly. Now the compost that we've put into the soil here also has a hell of a lot of nutrients in it. And you can see that in the, in the playing surface. It has a very deep green color and very dense playing surface. With all these benefits, why do we not see a greater number of well-constructed and maintained sporting fields? We will address this question in a future video, but for now, let's leave you with some feedback from the AFL club on the performance of a best practice sporting field that's receiving 55 hours per week of use. That's even higher than all of the fields in these pitches. As a sports club, we've, we've just found it the, you know, the best solution. I didn't know, I didn't think um, that you, you'd be able to get this level of quality pitch out of a natural turf pitch. Um, I thought it, us doing this, it might last for, you know, we might have a good one first season or something and then over the time it would deteriorate. But we've seen none of that over the last three years and it's uh, uh, you know, holding up strong and much better solution to artificial.